Hello, in this video I will make an overview of the top settings. The top is divided into two halves, columns and general settings. Around the settings are individual for each user who has the right to use the product editor. That is, each user can freely activate any columns and edit the data without interfering with other users. Of course, if they do not edit the same columns or the same product. Just now we can see loaded default profile, no, prices and categories, columns. And here let's activate only two columns, thumbnail and title. It's another user, as you can see, shop manager, save all settings. So this user can manipulate by these two, can work in these two columns, and this user still has his set of columns without any changing. And let's change any data, for example, here. Ah, no, no. Let's change data, for example, here. Title, ISK. So we can see default sort by for shop manager is title, default sort AST. Here, let's renew the page. All is the same. So, are this set of columns, direct set of columns, as the general settings is different for each user. And one more thing. I'm admin in this shop and I decided that I want let shop manager see only some columns and not, will not be able to edit or do something with another column. For each column, you can see this checkbox, visible for the shop manager. So, if I will uncheck it, shop manager will not be able to see this column and will not be able to edit any data for this column. So, let, let's uncheck some more columns. We just saved some columns for the product manager. Let's update page in, in for the shop manager. And look, we all have only columns which allowed to us for using, and we cannot load any columns which not permitted for us. Let's load default profile and let's look. For example, for example, let's also disallow for the shop manager in stock and stock status. In stock and stock status. Save all. And let's update. And now you can see it disappeared. Because on the same moment, after we apply our changes, shop manager not able to do something with its columns. And let's back to the, our settings. Of course, columns can be reordered using drag and drop. It's simple. And two very interesting things. Select the ground color. For example, let's select this one and select text color. Let's select this one. Allows to customize our columns colors. This feature allows us to customize columns to the colors, which is more convenient for our work. Let's customize somewhere. Cell price, for example, let it be this one and this one. I hope it's good colors. Yes, so we can see sale price. Visibly, these columns became more noticeable for us, and uh, we can be oriented in the product table in more convenient way. Shortly about general settings. Default products count per page. After the page loading, how many? products we will see on this page. Of course, we can use this selector to change per page dynamically. 
in the work process. Default sort by. How to sort products after they load it on the page. Show button in admin bar. Show this button or not to show. Show thumbnail preview. This preview. Load beauty switchers. Uh, for example, let's enable just now um, manage and manage stock and select here now. And you can see that instead of beauty green switchers, we can see checkboxes. Yes, it works. So Maybe it's uh, more attractive for you checkboxes, so use checkboxes. Autocomplete max count. Uh, it's uses for in the pop-up up sales, cross sales, and drop it pop-ups, and shows how many products. Uh, let's write a logo, for example. And here will be shown on no more than ten of founded variants. Maybe it's found it more than 10, but it will be shown only 10. Let's select any. OK, apply. So in the settings tab, nothing. Oh, one more thing. You can see here two save all settings button. They duplicate each other. So there is no difference if you press this button or this button. Both of them make savings for all the elements presented on this page. So, this is all. See you. Bye.